What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and this really wasn't a video I was expecting to make. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to bypass the activation lock screen, get into your phone, make use of it, and possibly even remove the activation lock completely. So this isn't guaranteed for everybody, however, I did have success on the latest 8.1.3 firmware, and yes, it does work on all older firmwares, even better on the older firmwares, but yes, it does work on the current 8.1.3, and I did have it working personally on a 5S, a 5, and a 4. I haven't tried the older devices, but other people have reported success with them. So using this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make use of the phone, actually use the phone and possibly even remove the activation lock completely. Now in the past, the methods usually involve dialing 112 or an emergency number on your phone and it would mess with the phone, glitch it out and let you boot into the home screen. So this method is a little bit different. It's a little more advanced. And if you guys are still wondering about the Dolce servers, permanent bypasses, that's all a bunch of baloney. It really is not not going to happen. This is the closest you will get to ever using your device. Anyways, so let me go ahead and show you how this works. So let's go ahead and enter our Wi-Fi settings. So yes, you do need to be connected to a network and go ahead and click on this little eye right here. Now I want you guys to go into the DNS right here and select all of it. All right, and we're going to remove that. Now we're going to put in the following DNS address. It's 78.109.1. 7.60. Okay, with that entered, go back. And sometimes it will take a moment, but select done. And for everybody, you guys won't have this next arrow. That's totally okay. The first time usually doesn't work, so you have to redo it, but eventually you'll get into this menu. Okay, so this is actually someone's personal server. The way this works is really interesting. It kind of tricks your device into thinking it's connecting somewhere else, but you connect to the server and you have a whole bunch of functions you can use. So in here, let me just show you a couple things that you can do. You can watch videos on your activation lock device. Now this isn't the complete bypass, this is just a part of it, but I do want to show this to you guys. So for example, here's YouTube. And yes, when I do lock my device, this is activation locked. It isn't even inside, but here I am watching YouTube videos on it. The audio works, everything does work, you know, no problems here. And because you are loading this through someone else's server, it might take a little more than you're used to, but it still does load and it does work perfectly. All right, so I have that working right there. And uh, if you guys want to go back, just click on the done arrow right here. And anyways, there's, you know, several functions inside each category. The ones that I like are games. I can't believe these are even working, but, you know, you have a whole bunch of different games you can play here. So I just want to show you guys 2048. Now, there's a lot of games to choose from. There's many other ones, too, not just ones listed here. But I do want to show you guys that this is working on my 5S right now. And here it is. So really cool. Now it seems a little bit off. It's not usually what I'm used to with the app. However, it does work perfectly. And uh, this is one of my favorite iOS games in general. But anyways, that's just a proof of concept. There's a lot to choose from here. There's so many things you can do. You can actually visit any website you want. You can listen to music, stream it. Uh, as you guys can see, there's a lot to do here. So your iCloud lock device is no longer permanently limited. So this is something that I don't see Apple patching in the future, possibly, but I see this sticking around for a while. It does work on the latest firmware. There's a lot you can do here. However, this is what I wanted to show you guys. Now, the second part of this video, I'm going to be showing you on my iPhone 5. Believe it or not, the older your device is, the easier it is to do because it glitches your device out faster. Anyways, so go ahead and go to English, United States, or wherever you're at. Of course, you're set it up. Once you're in the Wi-Fi settings, connect to Wi-Fi, click next, and you basically need to be on the screen. Now in here, click on Wi-Fi settings. If you don't see that little I, just click on home button and then select more Wi-Fi options. Anyways, click on the little I and here your DNS server. In here, you need to remove any text that there is and put in this number, 78.109.17.60. Now that is prone to change at any moment. If this no longer works in the future, click on this link right here to the article and there will be the updated DNS server in there as well as the full guide and more tips in there. So click on that guy, you get the latest information. Anyways, with that entered, go back and select done. Now in here, select activation help and you should go into here. If not, try it one or two times and eventually you'll be in here. Now go to menu and then we're going to go down to applications and in here you guys want to select crash. So this will crash your device, but that's what we want to do in order to get to the home screen. And so pretty much let's go ahead and click on that guy. Your iPhone will respring. Good. That's what we want to happen. Now go to English 
uh, you know, set it up, whatever, of course, your languages or your country. Anyways, in here, select the home button, select uh, more Wi-Fi settings, click on that little I. And now that we're in here, I want you guys to scroll down and select manual to the HTTP proxy. So in here on server, uh, clear it out if there's anything in there. But anyways, go to emoticon. Now, if you're on an older firmware, you will not see the emoticon button. Just click on the little globe eventually until you get to the emoticon keyboard. Now, it could be a placebo, but it seems like I've seen better success clicking on these guys right here. So you need to put in about 30, uh, 15 to 30 characters. So uh, I don't know why this works, but it does. It's It actually baffles me that people sit there and find this stuff, take so much time to find it, and it works like, Wow. Uh, anyways, so put in four eights, eight, 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 and select back. Now, guys, the moment you click next, your device will be put into this glitch state. So it'll keep respringing, rebooting, and you guys just need to keep sliding to unlock and pressing the languages. Just keep doing it over and over. There's really no method. It's just a glitch. Eventually it works, but there's no method to it. it usually takes me about one to three minutes of doing it, and I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second here. But eventually you'll be booted into the home screen. So just keep trying, keep doing it over and over, and eventually you guys will get into the home screen. All right. There we go. So it has begun. Now just keep sliding to unlock, you know, just tapping on languages, just keep sliding. Eventually your device will have enough and it'll boot you into the home screen. It's really funny that, you know, someone just sat here, sat here and did this and eventually it worked. Uh, anyways, it's really cool. And with this method, you could possibly regain complete access to your device by contacting the original owner. So, uh, Let's just keep doing this and I'm gonna actually fast forward this part because it usually does take a while so you guys can see that it has worked for me. All right. Oh my gosh, that took a lot longer than I thought, about five minutes in total. But anyways, the end result is that it finally allows you to see your home screen. Now, the reason you'd want to do this is because you can get into FaceTime and usually the old owner's email is still in there. Now, using that, you guys can actually contact him. Now, worst case scenario, if it's not in there, you guys can open up the phone application and the old phone number of the user will also be in there. So there's two methods you can go about doing this. However, Know that once you open up either FaceTime or the phone application or newsstand, you cannot exit it without restarting your device and having to go through this whole process again. Anyways, I'm going to open up my FaceTime and uh, usually it's in here. However, I just restored my device, so it's not in here and you guys can't actually press anything. You're stuck in here. And if you guys want to open up the phone application, you can do that too. However, you have to restart this entire process. Now, worst case scenario, if you guys bought the phone, it's still stuck on this. You can't contact the original owner. The least I can help you guys with is allowing you to use your phone somewhat. So using that method, you guys can still go in here, you know, play games, watch videos, listen to music, you know, browse the internet, still do stuff on the phone, even use maps. There's a lot of things you can do in here, even though you're still stuck on activation lock. So if I any point during the future this video no longer works remember that in the article i will keep the dns server updated in case there is a new one so you guys can still at least do something with your phone but i just want to make a shout out to the guy that did create this super cool that you know all the people that are affected by iCloud lock can still somewhat use their device. Anyways, guys, I do hope this somewhat helped you. I know the pain of buying a device and being ripped off. So guys, enjoy this somewhat of a bypass, at least if you couldn't contact the owner and, you know, get the full restore back. Anyways, enjoy this bypass and check out my channel, guys. I have a ton of other videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. I have not forgot about my iCloud people. So if there's any new updates or developments, I will keep you guys posted. Have a great day, guys. Peace.